Some of them remain just as projects on paper. Others found their rest on the sea bottom. And still others were scrapped for metal after the end of their service. Today, we recreate long gone ships according to their historical blueprints to give them a new lease of life. World of Warships, Dry Dock. Orcan isn't the first name this destroyer was given. Upon being laid down, she was named Myrmidon, in honor of representatives of the ancient Greek tribe that originated from the son of Zeus and was commanded by Achilles himself in the legendary Iliad by Homer. By the time the L&M destroyer classes were being designed, British shipbuilders were no longer shackled by treaty limitations. As a result, an improved variant of highly successful J-class destroyers was created and then laid down in 1937. The main difference of the M-Class were new turret-like twin-gun artillery mounts. Mounts, not turrets. With more powerful 120mm guns of a new model. The destroyers were left with just a single torpedo launcher. A 102mm anti-aircraft gun was installed instead of the second one. AA defenses were provided by a quad-barreled 40mm pom-pom and two 20mm Oerlikon guns. By 1945, the number of the latter on board had become 10. One of 16 ships of her class, Myrmidon was laid down in December 1939, but she was commissioned into service only three years later due to global events and difficulties in manufacturing the artillery mounts. The destroyer entered service flying the Polish flag and was named Orkan, Tempest in Polish. The ship served in the Arctic, escorted convoys to the Soviet Union, operated in the Bay of Biscay and escorted Atlantic convoys. In World of Warships, Orcan is a Tier 8 European Premium Destroyer. 